Have you ever heard of the term scrum? I bet you're thinking of a rugby field with men huddled together scrambling for a ball, right? Well, scrum is also an agile and effective way of developing and sustaining complex software products which App Inlet has adopted. The old school way of development is called the waterfall model, which is used to organize and deliver software in consecutive phases. Analysis phase, design phase, implementation phase, testing phase, and thereafter the ongoing support and maintenance phase. Although Scrum goes through similar phases, these are done in workable iterations of the entire project. This creates a much more flexible and adaptable approach to software development and allows room for businesses to adapt to changing environments rather than having to wait for completion, which is the biggest downfall of the waterfall model. <laughs> no pun intended. Welcome to the second episode of How We Develop Apps. In this video, we will dive a little deeper into the process theory that we use to develop apps, which is called Scrum. Scrum consists of three principles, namely transparency, inspection and adaption. Transparency. The Scrum team all agree to be honest in all that they do on a project, meaning that the functionality is not done until it meets the team's definition of done. There is no almost done in Scrum. There's done and not done. Inspection. This is the principle of ensuring that the team consistently check up on progress and make improvements based on what they have seen. Adaption relates to the continuous improvements and practices whilst sticking to values and nurturing effective communication. By following these three principles of Scrum, we are able to design and build complex solutions for our clients as a trustworthy and flexible team. Welcome to part three of how we develop apps. Today we're going to explain some Scrum terminology involving sprints. Sprints are not just things that happen when your legs move really fast. They are also what happens when Scrum teams move their fingers really fast. App Inlet's Scrum team works in sprints of two weeks to complete a set amount of work. Sprint planning defines what must be delivered in the sprint and how it will be achieved and who will do it. A sprint backlog consists of the upcoming projects which need to be planned by the team. In sprint reviews, the client is shown the achieved work of the entire team. The sprint retrospective is when the team reflects on the work done to see if they can improve and make changes before they begin the next sprint. We hope that these sprint terms and scrum terms have helped you understand a little bit more about how we develop apps. Welcome to part four of how we develop apps. In this video, we will introduce the different roles involved in the development process we use, which is called Scrum. There are three roles within our Scrum environment, product owner, Scrum master, and the development team members. These roles describe the key responsibilities for those on the Scrum team. This allows teams to take responsibility for how they organize themselves, as well as collaborate for improvement. The product owner does not own the client's app. They are the champions of the project and ensure that the client's vision is made into a reality. The Scrum Master is in charge of ensuring the app development process is in alignment with Scrum best practices. The development teams are made up of designers and developers who work together daily to create magical digital solutions that work beautifully and look great. Together, the Scrum team will keep your project moving in the right direction.